is their pricing. Only six dollars. That's fantastic. All right, gonna go inside the gift shop, see if I can get a hat. All right, I found hats. Hey everybody, Tom here for Tom's Road Trip and I'm in Manhattan, Kansas. And today I'm visiting the Sunset Zoo. This is a, probably a little bit larger than a smaller zoo, about mid-sized section. Opened in 1933. Uh, it's a very, very windy day, so I'm hoping that my internal microphone isn't going to pick up a lot of wind so i just got my hat at the gift shop at the entrance 25 dollars and that's about the average price for a hat so i'm going to find a map and see the layout of the zoo and i'll decide which path if there's different pathways and hopefully see lots of good animals today all right they do have wagon rentals and strollers all right so this is the map so not a super big property. See so right here we want entrance. So I'm gonna do the African Trail and then we'll do the Av you know Australian walkabout and work my way around. So there is one way paths still marked even though it's not re really required right now. This is a little remnant of the pandemic. So I'm gonna still follow the path because that way I'll get to everything. All right, so zoo has very nice wide open paths. All right, first animal up, black and white Columbus monkey. It's like looking right at me. You see their door to the inside is open. Got lots of cool stuff to climb on. Only see the one at the moment. Get a better look at the habitat. Indoor habitat for the Columbus monkey. Right, next up, we're going to see chimpanzee. The chimpanzee's indoor habitat. All right, chimpanzees have a nice size habitat. All right. Let's see four of them. Oh, five of them. We got five chimps. There we go. Showing the dominance. <laughs> <laughs> That's typical with the males. They're all having their breakfast. The zoo is very natural because it's out in the woods. I got a violet turco. All right, so I'm not sure if the bird is going to be out in its habitat today due to the threat of the avian flu. Don't see any right now, so I will check back later. Got a little pond here. They like something that Kermit the Frog would enjoy. Got cheetah. These guys got a really big habitat. There's viewing on the other side, so I don't see him at the moment. A couple of the people that were just here said they moved down a little bit, so they are out here. Information about donations. Alright, so there is a elevation change here. There's stairs on the left, or there is a gradual path that goes down for people with wheelchairs and strollers and wagons and whatnot. I always like all the springtime flowers and the other stuff here. Alright, so in addition to the map, there are arrows and 
pointing to the different directions of all the different animals. So easy to find all the different habitats. Like all the rock work. All right, so we're gonna head this way to a strand walkabout. All right, we got this next habitat. Got turkey vulture, ornate box turtle, and black-tailed prairie dog. See a nice black vulture. See the prairie dogs. This guy's got a really nice habitat. See burrow in the ground, and that's where they are safe. So the prairie dogs have this entire habitat. Yeah, eating something. So I am trying to find the anyway, box turtle. See this the size of his habitat. I do not see him. So I'll check back a little bit later. Maybe see it moving around. I always love all the animal statues. Alright, so from the lower viewing area, there are some workers in here getting the habitat cleaned up. So obviously animals are not gonna be out at the same time. So once the workers are finished with the cleaning, the animals will be let back out. So I'll come back. All right, we got spotted hyena. Here we go. I do like the hyenas. Got a good sized habitat. All right, gonna go inside the Australian walkabout area. All right, we got emu. Got the emu here right by the entrance to the area. And there is a second emu. Bennett's wallaby and Parma wallaby. So you do not currently see the wallaby. It's the same habitat as the emu. Definitely hope to go here one day. All right, so the wallaby are out. I'm just not seeing them because I believe they have free range. So I'll check back a little bit later. It looks like they have access to go in the back. We're gonna go inside the aviary. The animals in here are black swan, kookaburra, silver gull, and straw-necked ibis. Looks like they're working on the water. I do see the black swan. Several of the ibis. See a silver gull. Only bird I am not seeing is my favorite, the kookaburro. Yeah, so the water is draining. Most likely they're gonna come in here and pressure wash this and refill it. The black swan seems disappointed. Where'd all my water go? I know. Hopefully we'll be back later for you. Alright, so they're finished cleaning up the habitat. No, that's not for you. There is the other cheetah. Oh, oh, it's it's eating some food. Does she not have all her senses or something? No. Yes, sir. Wow. <laughs> Such beautiful animals. You got the two hyenas real close now. Jamie, get back up there and look. Yeah, 
Yeah, they're possibly up nice and close because of all the kids. Some growling noises. All right, so we're gonna go this direction towards Expedition Asia, which is our newest area of the zoo. All right, Expedition Cafe. This won't be open until 11, so I will definitely come back. This is their menu board. All right, right next to Expedition Cafe, you got Chautauqua. And this is their little amphitheater. No shows going on right now. All right, so I'm on the other side of the habitat. It's got the prairie dogs. Still trying to find the, the turtle. Still not seeing it from this angle either. So showing the map again. I did this area here and up here. But basically this is right where I'm near. So I'm gonna go check out the Asian trail and then follow it to the Americas. All right, Expedition Asia. See all the nice new wood and concrete. All right, we got Malayan tiger. You guys got really nice looking habitat, and I see the tiger. There we go. Tigers are the world's largest cats. All right. Much better look from here. This whole area just opened up this year, 2022. Sitting's all still pristine. And such beautiful animals. Critically endangered, unfortunately. All right, we got sloth bear. Got some good information on sloth bears. Whoa. So fuzzy. <laughs> like the sloth bear's nice habitat. Here he comes. Look at him. bear. There he goes. Can't smash window because he's still small. There's two in here. Can't play and miss the second one. Oh, they're super fuzzy. Yeah, those big long claws in the front paws look like sloth claws. That's how they got their name. So this whole area is built up on this walkway and there's plenty of viewing areas. Fantastic because it gives you multiple different angles, plenty of views. Another really good view of the Milan Tiger. Here we've got a Mer Leopard. This is the leopard's habitat. Do not currently see it out. As you can see, all the animals have access to their indoor habitat. They can come out if they choose to. All right, the Amur leopard is the most endangered cat in the world. It's even more habitat for the sloth bear. So they have plenty of room. All right, so there's a slight elevation change. So there's a nice gradual path down. All right, all sorts of good information about the Amur leopards. 
This is what happens when communities support their zoo. Get beautiful expansions such as this can occur. This is the lower viewing area for the Amur Leopard. Looks like they are actively working on this mural. To show you just how new this area is. So I will definitely check back. Hopefully the Amur Leopard will be out. So this habitat here, not sure if it's not used anymore. This very well could have been the original habitat for one of these animals. Got Asian small clawed otter. Alright, I do not currently see the cute little otters, but they are filling up their water. So perhaps they'll be out a little bit later. I will check back. We got red panda. Oh, I do love red pandas. She loves your mom. Yeah. Good morning, my friend. Now it's getting closer to us. Beautiful animals. Oh, I don't think really <laughs> Super fuzzy. It's closer to us. Yeah. Where is it going? This way to us. Got a white painted gibbon. It's all new habitat, also. Right. Got a younger one in here. Okay, another one down in the pool. Just like kids. Is he going? Is that the going? That one's super cute. Look at that one. Look at the monkeys. This is the white handed gibbons indoor habitat. And you're all outside right now. Yeah, we got a nice hammock. Okay. Gibbons are the most endangered primate in the world. This is one of the main reasons why their habitat is fastly declining. All right, we got a giant anteater and maned wolf. These two animals have a very nice look and habitat. All right, giant anteater I found. It's curled up taking a nap. Really cool animal. And I do see the maned wolf also taking a nap. Go. This is a beautiful animal. So I'll check this habitat a little bit later. Maybe the animals will be up moving around, perhaps. Get another look at the white handed gibbon from the upper portion of the trail. Hi! Hello! One thing I really like about this zoo, get all sorts of different viewing areas. Gonna get you a better view of the main wolf. Really, really cute animal. All right, so trail for this area loops around, so the entrance is also the exit. All right, right next to the Asian area is restroom locations. There's a nice playground area. Covered pavilion for when the food area opens. All right, most zoos have peafowl or peacock as they're better known roaming the property. So I'm sure I'll see some of these along my journey through the zoo. All right, so right next to the playground, you get a really, really good view of the flamingo. Oh, I do love these birds. 
My second favorite bird species, right behind the kookaburro. All right, American Flamingo. Oh, I got two of them having a fight, having an argument. That one seems like it's yelling at him to break it up. There you go. Nice and calm now. Hello, flamingos. How are you today? Got nice clean water. Looks like it was just filled up. All right, so from the flamingos, I'm going to follow the path. Oh, this area is really nice. Got a butterfly habitat. All about the butterfly habitat. So there's lots of plants here that attract butterflies. Of course, it's extremely windy today. So the butterflies just might be hunkered down somewhere. Interesting facts about butterflies. All these flowers and plants are perfect for butterflies. All right, we got Chicoan Pickery. Hi, little piggies. With cute little pig noses. <laughs> this guy's got a nice size habitat. Definitely nap time for the animals. All right, we got American White Pelican, Black Neck Swan, Canada Goose, and Crested Screamer. Very nice with the pelicans. Did you see brown pelicans near where I live? Get some other birds. We got two of the Crested Screamers. Black Neck Swan. These birds have a very nice habitat. Lots of nice water. All right, gonna go on the side of the South American jungle habitat. Oh my god, Bolivian Reed Titi Monkey. This is the Titi Monkey's indoor habitat. Most likely going to be outside. This is the monkey's habitat. Not seeing it. And I didn't notice it indoors either. So I'll check back later. There we got Bobcat. Alright, so I do not see the Bobcat. The so Bobcat does have a large indoor habitat, so that's going to be where it's at right now. There's a hand washing station here. Very important to have your hands clean before touching animals, and of course, after touching animals. Always a good idea to wash your hands. You got red footed tortoise. We got two of them walking along the fence. There is the first one. And the other one. These two are getting some good exercise. Getting your steps in today, huh? Other side view of the habitat that has the black neck swan and the other assorted birds. All right, and the path brings us right back to the butterfly habitat. And the archway that I went through is very nice. Got some nice lush gardens.
just above where I just was. All right, so finishing this area will conclude my initial walkthrough. Not a very super big zoo. The Asian section is beautiful as it's brand new, so they're doing a fantastic job with that. North American area, or the Americas, looks like it needs a little bit of work on some of the portions, so hopefully that's something the zoo will work to improve in the future. There wasn't a whole lot of animals that I missed the first time. Some of the turtles, the odds and ends, so I'll do a full walkthrough, try and find better views of some of the animals. And I think the food area is open now, so I'm gonna go have some lunch and do a rewalk for you. Right, so I got a refillable drink bottle with my lunch. All right, so showing the map again, so you see right where I'm at, right at the beginning. So I'm gonna rewalk all the different areas. All right, I see two black and white Columbus monkeys. I think I only saw this one here closer earlier. Oh, there's a third one. All right. See how long their fuzzy tails are. All right, so I came back to the Violet Turco and I do not see the bird. Could be out of the habitat because of the avian flu risk. So this is what they look like. So unfortunately this is a no-go. All right, I came back to the prairie dog, vulture and box turtle habitat. Trying to find the box turtle. I'm still not having very good luck. But this is what the ornate box turtle looks like and I'm gonna say this is a no-go. These aren't very big turtles. So I'm sure it is in here somewhere. It's just really difficult to see it. Hyenas are taking a nap or this one on the right was taking a nap. I woke him up. Sorry. Up, oh, up, oh, other one's up now too. Oh man, I woke him up. Sorry I woke you up. Oh man, it wasn't bad at me now. And I came back to the Australian walkabout area hoping to see the wallaby. Ostrich is still here though. Alright, so I'm still not seeing the wallabies. They do have access to going back. They do have a little walkway to go into the emu yard. Might be too windy for him out here. This is what the Bennett's wallaby looks like. And the Parma wallaby. So at this moment, those two wallabies are a no-go. I will check back at this habitat right before I leave, just in case they're out later. All right, I came back hoping to see the kookaburro. There is a box in the back, it's possible it is in there. Because I looked up on all the trees, looked on the ground, and I just do not see it. This is what these cool birds look like. So unfortunately this is a no-go. Black Swan's still looking for its water. All right, my lion tiger moved a little bit. A very nice view. All right, the Amur leopard is apparently still inside. All right, I actually do see the Amur leopard just inside. There we go. Just doesn't want to come out inside the habitat. But I'm glad I got to at least see it, the Amur leopard. Very pretty cats. Alright, so I showed you this habitat earlier. But looking down there, I do actually see an animal. Not really sure what it is. So I don't think there's any way to get to this viewing area down below anymore. Could be that I missed a path, maybe. All right, so I came back to the Asian small claw otter habitat and I do not see them still. But this is what they look like and unfortunately this is a no-go. Oh, red paint is a goal. It's 
sleeping. Oh, these things are so cute. About 10 minutes ago, I heard these guys hooting and hollering. They can be very, very loud. Play some hula hoop, huh? You know, the youngster. Here we go. This one's still hanging out in the same spot. A lot better view of the darker colored one. Right, Ain't Inter just got up and readjusted itself. Same spot as it was the first time it came through. You can see more of its head. Hi baby, how you doing? Oh no, you're trying to sleep. And the main wolf is in the same spot. Whoa, it's windy. Blow my camera around a little bit. Really, really cute. Oh, 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 oh. All right, Crested Screamer. Are up walking around now. There's a second one. All right, so I came back to the Bolivian Reed TT Monkey's habitat, hoping to see him. And I see a tail hanging down and a paw. Who's up above here? You can see this animal has a fantastic habitat inside. There we go. Yeah, there is two of them in here, because now I see a second tail. There we go. There we go. Oh my god, they are so cute. Oh wow. Oh wow, they are cute. Rin. Oh wow. Sorry. I know. He must have heard me. As I was talking. So glad I get to see a good view of him now. Hello. Hey, how you doing? Love these white pelicans. All right, so I came back to the bobcat habitat. And you see the doorway is open to go inside. So that's gonna be where the animal is. So it's their choice whether they want to be outside or inside. And so this is what the bobcat looks like. So this looks like it's going to be a no-go. So it appears that the Americas section is one of their oldest areas. Hopefully they will renovate this area next. Back at the red-footed tortoise. This one's trying to make some more red-footed tortoises. Good luck, buddy. Right, so I'm looking at the two white pelican here and I noticed the one on the left a little bit larger and it has sort of that little ding at the on its beak but the other one does not and a little bit smaller you can see it right there on its beak got that little round thing There we go. So this might be the female. All right, so I was looking around to see if there's any way to get to other habitats and it is blocked off. So those are the older habitats, even though I did see the one animal in there, there's no way to get to it. All right, you can see one of the workers in here cleaning up the, what will be the water area. Once all the algae is cleaned up, they'll refill it. Nice, clean, fresh water. All right, so I took the opportunity to ask the worker, 
that was in there hosing off the little pond area about the kookaburro. Evidently, the netting that makes up that little aviary area, the kookaburro could fit through. So the kookaburro are temporarily off habitat until they get that repaired. So they gotta replace that portion of the netting to make sure the bird doesn't escape because if it's escaped, this isn't a natural habitat for the type of bird and it might not survive out in the wild. All right, so I also asked the same worker about the older habitats near the Amur leopard. That one animal that I saw down the hill is a tufted deer. So he was telling me how they are working on a solution for that older habitat area, possibly making it a hoof stock area. They're still working on it, so perhaps sometime in the future they will rejuvenate that area and open up the pathway for people to enjoy. All right, so I also went back about the wallabies. Still did not see the wallabies, so I tried several times. The gentleman that I was talking about also mentioned that the kookaburro, or one of them was moved in with the uh, violet turaco. However, I don't see any birds in that habitat because I just came back to it. So unfortunately, I'm not gonna be able to show you either of those birds because apparently they are behind the scenes. So I had a fantastic time here for a smaller zoo. They're doing a fantastic job, especially with the brand new Asian section that opened up this past month. Beautifully set up, fantastic for the animals, and you get multiple views for us, the visitors. Hopefully, in the future, they're gonna do some more renovation work of other areas. I mentioned about the, the tufted deer habitat, which was their older habitat for some of the other animals that's not currently being utilized. If you are from the area, you're gonna have a lot more information than I will for this visit. So if you are a local from Kansas, I do highly recommend you check back on their website for more information regarding newer renovations and work. So now that the Asian section is fully open, hopefully they start doing some fundraising for some of the other areas. Like the America section really needs a little bit of work done, especially with the, the one animal's habitat that I didn't get to see. I can't remember what it is now. It's been a long day, I'm sorry. But anyway, leave some comments down below what your favorite animal was that I saw today. My favorite was the sloth bear. It's cool to see two of them, how fuzzy they are, and they were running around playing, so that was nice to see. Leave some other comments down below, uh, suggestions, criticisms if you're nice about it, things like that. Also, if you're not already subscribed to the channel, please subscribe. Uh, at the time of this recording, I'm almost at 6,000 subscribers. Most of my views are still from non-subscribers, so if you enjoy zoos, aquariums, theme parks, roadside attractions, join the channel. I upload new videos every Thursday, 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So, I'll see you guys next time. Bye. All right, so you exit into their gift shop. This is where I got my hat at earlier. Typical gift shop stuff, lots of plush. Little small stuff for the kids. Yeah.